Hello and welcome to the Adam and Val YouTube channel where today I'm going to hopefully recreate a recipe that is really popular at the minute on a slow cooker group that I'm part of on Facebook and everyone is making a doner kebab in a slow cooker. Now if you stay to the end there's going to be a little twist on my version of this and it usually says to use lamb mince but I've gone for beef because people have commented saying you can use beef mince, you can use lamb mince, you can even use chicken mince. But this massive pack of 750 gram was on offer in Sainsbury's. So I thought, oh, let's get that because it's half the price of the lamb mince. Now there's various herbs and spices going. A little bit of chili powder and garlic granules as well. I suppose you probably could use fresh garlic. It says oregano, which I have got, but I've got the wrong pot out, mixed herbs. But I'm gonna put some of them in anyway. Cumin isn't on the recipe, which I've hopefully put on the screen at some point, but I'm gonna put it in. Neither is onion granules, but I'm going to put them in. Smoked paprika goes in. Susie salt and Percy pepper go in, as does an egg. So we're going to mush all this together and you mush it and mush it until it's like a paste. You put it into a, like a sausage shape, wrap it in foil, and then you cook it for about six hours. So I'm going to get my mixing bowl out and get all of these ingredients in and start mushing. So all the ingredients are in, and the measurements say a teaspoon of pretty much everything except the garlic, which was two teaspoons, plus one egg beaten. Now this is a little bit more mince than the original recipe, so I've gone two teaspoon of everything, three of garlic, and I've put one and a half eggs in to bind it all together, and I've increased it a bit just because it is a bit more mince. However, these herbs and spices are not written in stone. You can put in whatever ones you want to put in. It's entirely up to you, and I think this is gonna be trial and error. First time I've made it, when we taste it, I might think, oh, it needs more of this, it needs more of that, but let's just give it a go anyway. So it's hands in and get it mushed up, and it says that you need to do it for about 10 minutes. So we're gonna start mushing, and we'll see what it looks like in 10 minutes. Always use your hands, best tools in the kitchen. So 10 minutes later and a massive workout with your hands. My hands are absolutely killing me, but I think it was worth it. You form it into a sausage shape and we're gonna put the sausage shape onto some very lightly oiled foil. So that will go into there and I'm gonna let it sit in the fridge just to firm up a little bit because the temperature from my hands and working it out for, for that time has made it seem to break down a bit. So I think putting it in the fridge, like when you make a homemade burger, put it in the fridge, firm it up for half an hour and then it will go in the slow cooker. And that is where our twist comes in. Our sausage shape is ready. One final tip is you have to pierce a few holes in the bottom of it before you put it in the slow cooker and sit it on two balls of foil inside the slow cooker with the holes at the bottom. Sausage shape, and we'll put that in the fridge to firm up a bit. So it's been in the fridge, firming up, for a little while and now we're going to cook it but here's the twist it's not going in the slow cooker it's going in the air fryer yes it's going in the air fryer for about 25 minutes 12 minutes turn it and then another 12 minutes maybe on about 180 so it's not slow cooker doner kebab it's air fryer doner kebab let's get this in there there it is, in the tray, into the air fryer, 180, time will go, oh no, wrong way, we'll go 12 minutes, and it's away, we'll turn it after 12 minutes and do it for another 12 minutes. So 12 minutes is up. Cool, that looks good already, to be fair. Let's see if I can do this one-handed, give it a, a turnover. Give that a turn and we we'll whack that in for another 12 minutes. And it's away. So another 12 minutes on the other side, and look at that, it's done. 
I'm wondering if it's a little bit overcooked. I'm not too sure because that's quite crispy on the outside. But let's cut a couple of slices off and see what it tastes like. Right, so now we're going to try and carve. See if we can get some slices like you would a, a doner kebab. Look at that. Look, it's slicing like a doner. Look at that. Look at that. It's just mince flavoured up and sliced up. We're going to whack that with a little bit of salad. Get some pita breads under the grill, a few sauces. And that's tonight's tea. But I'm just going to have a little taste of this little bit here. Let's see what this tastes like. It smells really nice. It looks a little bit dry, but I think it's going to be nice. Oh, <laughs> mm. that's not bad at all. Not bad at all. A few tweaks here and there needed for next time it's done. But if you've not seen the slow cooker doner kebab, that's it there, but done in the air fryer. For more videos where we cheat on a slow cooker recipe, don't forget to like and subscribe.